Hello everyone, I'm Josh Rubenstein, the Public Information Director for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Southeast Division in the city of LA on May 20th, 2019. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We're still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Captain Giselle Espinoza of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that began on May 20th, 2019, around 11 p.m. Officers assigned to Southeast Division were on patrol when they saw a vehicle fail to stop at a red light. The traffic violation was at 108th Street and Broadway. The vehicle made a right turn onto Broadway from 108th Street, quickly made another right turn onto 109th Street and turned right into an alley. The vehicle stopped to the rear of an apartment complex in the 10,800 block of South Broadway. Here is digital and car video from that traffic stop. Most marked vehicles assigned to patrol have a digital dash camera which activates when the emergency lights are turned on. The officers stopped their police car behind the suspect's vehicle and the officers walked up to speak to the driver. There was a woman in the front passenger seat and a man who was later identified as Norvell Cooper in the driver's seat. The body-worn cameras used by the LAPD were worn at chest level by most officers assigned to field duties and they capture a general perspective of what is in the camera's view. Camera on. Oh, that's one of them um, paper plate thingies. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. You know when you came around 108th Street, went through the red light. That's what it caught my attention. Okay. And it wasn't until you hit this corner, I figured you was trying to get back to wherever you was coming from. So. I think I know you. Um, yeah. Well, I'll um, well, you know, I remember faces and all that. Well, my face has been around here for a long time, so that's very likely. And it, hope, most likely it was in the positive um, aspect, mm -hmm. which doesn't make this negative. But no. Like I said, sure. you ran the stop sign, um, the red light back here over on 108 Broadway. That's right. I understand you. You live here? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. So, ID? Yes, I do. Insurance? Insurance? She said, hurry up, she got a pee. I got a pee. Like, oh, I swear I got a pee. Or insurance mostly. Oh, insurance. Uh, I just paid my insurance. Registration paper. Mm -hmm. This is this is your car or his? Right. This is my car. Oh, okay. Yeah, insurance. Papers. 
Hello. While the driver officer was looking at the paperwork Cooper had provided, the passenger officer repeatedly asked Cooper to straighten his left leg. From his position on the passenger side of the vehicle, the passenger officer saw what he believed was a gun and told his partner. What is he talking about? What are y'all doing? We're not doing nothing, sir. Your left leg. Your left leg. He wants you to straighten out your left leg. What's wrong with your leg, man? Nothing. All right. Hey, uh, what? Excuse me, sir. Uh, can you please get out my car, sir? Um, hey, partner, I think you got a gun inside the car. That's not a gun in the car. Cooper put the vehicle in reverse and started in a backward motion, but stopped before hitting the police vehicle. Cooper opened the door and stepped out. The officer attempted to detain Cooper, who turned and pulled away. At that time, there was an officer-involved shooting. Cooper ran eastbound through a walkway towards Broadway Street. You're going to run into my car, boss, if you hey. hit my car. Hey! Hey, don't shoot me, sir. Don't shoot me, sir. I will shoot you. Hey. Ah, ah, don't reach, man. Sir, I don't got no gun. If you don't have no gun, you got nothing to worry about. Here you are, Central. 89 and 41, requesting a backup. 108. I don't have no gun. I'm getting out the car. In Broadway, Broadway in the north south alley. I'm getting out the car. West of Broadway. No, he's getting out. He's getting out. I'm getting out. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh -uh. I'm requesting help. I got her. Gun, uh, on armed suspect, he's running southbound on Broadway from 109th Street. He's a male black, he's wearing a red shirt. I got shots fired. Get back. Oh, just hold on to it. The suspect is running, the suspect is armed running from Broadway from 109th male black, wearing a red shirt. Over the south, over the area 1904. Immediately after firing his weapon at Cooper, the passenger officer went to the driver's side of the vehicle. In the map pocket of the driver's side door, he found a handgun. The officer removed the handgun from the vehicle before reuniting with his partner, who had gone to the front of the apartment complex. Here is video footage from the passenger officer's body-worn camera. Hi, ma'am. Good morning. All right, good afternoon. Sorry. All right. Hey, uh, just stay in the car.
Excuse me, sir. Can you move your left leg just a little bit back? Keep it. Let me see. Move it back. Move your left knee. No, no, down. Put it down. Put it down. Put your left knee straight it out. Straighten out your knee. Your leg. Your left leg. Straighten out your left leg. Your left leg. Hey, uh. Uh, what? Excuse me, sir. Uh, can you please get out of my car, sir? Um, hey, partner, I think we got a gun inside the car. That's not a gun. Hey! Hey, don't shoot me, sir. Don't shoot me, sir. I will shoot you. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, ah, don't reach me. I don't got no gun. If you don't have no gun, you got nothing to worry about. Hey, 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 no, don't get out of the car. Get out of the car. Hey. No, he can out. He can out. Get out. Partner, we got a gun. Responding officer set up a perimeter to search for Cooper. About 10 minutes after the officer involved shooting, police officers on the perimeter saw Cooper on Broadway south of 109th Street. Cooper was taken into custody and Los Angeles Fire Department responded and transported him to a local hospital for medical treatment. He's southbound Broadway from 109th, east side of the street. Southbound Broadway, 109th. Unit advice, traffic is possibly running southbound 109th, on the east side of the street from Broadway. What's the move, what? Hey. He's shot, he's got a full of blood, baby. Whoa! He's shot! He's full of blood! He's full of blood! He's full He's hacking up already. He's, he's hacking. Hold it up for me, The handgun found in the vehicle was a 9mm handgun. It was booked as evidence by investigators. Cooper is a 29-year-old resident of Los Angeles with a criminal history, which includes three associated convictions for assault with a deadly weapon on a peace officer, evading arrest, hit and run, domestic violence with injuries, and narcotic sales. Cooper is a documented gang member. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office filed one count of ex-con with a gun. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. They'll continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete forensic tests. After the investigation is completed, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics drawing and exhibiting a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.